Hello, welcome to my video. And you must have read Le Palm in the as the title of the as the title of the video, right? Well, no, it isn't. It's on Icebreaker Zulu. What Icebreaker Zulu? No, that can't be the title because it's about lip balm. No, it's about Icebreaker Zulu. No, it's about the book because this is a container for my lip balm. <laughs> I probably just got you so confused. And um, yes, I put ice lip balm, homemade lip balm, in my Icebreaker Zulu container. And if you want to know how to make the the bomb, keep on watching. And just note it's not chocolate, it's dark sienna. Sorry, burnt sienna. You'll need an icebreakers, okay, icebreakers container, or you can get any container you want. Um, that's not the color of the container, that is just how the font on the camera has it. You need a glass bowl, I think, yeah. And you'll use, you'll use a plastic spoon. I'm using a soup spoon, but you can use any type of plastic spoon you want. You'll also need vitamin E oil, and that is just how my vitamin E oil looks. Again, that is the font. You'll need a non-toxic crayon. Mine, the color I'm using today is magenta. And you'll also need Vaseline. First of all, you want to put some Vaseline into a bowl. I forgot to I forgot to mention this. Um, you'll need to put as you could put as I didn't put a definite measurement. I just put like one spoonful, um, soup spoonful, plastic spoon, soup spoonful, uh, Vaseline into the bowl. But to the container, you'll do as amount as how much you'll need. And now you'll put in how many of your crayon you want. Again, make sure it's non toxic. And you'll need to put in some vitamin E oil into that. A little bit of vitamin E oil. The vitamin E oil, I forgot to mention, is optional. I made one with all the vitamin E oil that I can find right now. So these are all the ingredients you'll need. And you put this, here are two options you can need this. You can put this in a pan of water and um, heat it on the stove until it melts or you can do it like I'm doing it. Put it in the microwave for two minutes and um, stir it up at the end or you could put it at 30, 30, second, 30 seconds at intervals of 30 seconds each and mix it between the in, in between the intervals. So I'm going to heat it now and come back. So this is what it looks like when it's finished. And now I'm going to mix it up with my spoon. I'm going to mix it up. Ooh, a nice color. Like a kind of lip, uh, kind of lippy color. I mixed up. This is what color looks like. It's a really nice color. I must see. Ew. I kind of spilled. That's okay, I'll make, clean it up. This thing, I'm going to need to get a lot of heat. So, I'm going to wash out my spoon and come back. So, now, when you're finished mixing up this mixture, I can see like very lips, lipsticky. I'm going to bring my chance with this. So, when you finish, Mixing that mixture, um, what you want to do, if you like me and want to pour it, you can do that. Or you could, if you like me and want to pour it, you could use your spoon or you could pour it using bowl. And, oh, I forgot to show you. If you're using your icebreakers container, what you can do, let me move this aside. What you can do, you can open the nut to share side and pull this side up. It will take force on like that. And you'll separate this from this and you'll get um, a very big container to put your stuff in. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna show it on camera. So Oh, 
of the hut. Okay, I think I should have put more. I should have put more Vaseline. But that's okay. I hope the camera's getting this. I hope, I hope, I hope. I hope the camera's getting this. Because I'm not behind it. And I hope. If you have a problem cleaning your bowls, you could um, always use grease cutter and I'll cut it. Well, I think that's kind of name, so. Just trying to get this. Rub. So what I have, I put a spoon left over blood. Okay, not really blood, but you know, it looks like that. So I'm just gonna mix this up. I try to smoothen it out. So you have like a nice appeal look to it. And if you wanted to see the one I did with Audi Vitamin E oil, you could go up on my Instagram page. That thing will appear in this clip. I think it'll be throughout the whole clip. Or it'll be at the end of the end clip. So you can look for that at the end clip. So you can finish doing yours if you're doing it along with this video. And I'll finish doing mine and I'll be right back. When you finish, it should look like this. That would be kind of greedy or the corner thing, but I just did that. And um I find it came out pretty well. I, kind of, I like the kind of red color to it. It looks like lipstick. So now what you're going to do, you're going to put, put this into the fridge for 30 minutes. I'll be right back in 30 minutes time. You're going to put it open if you're just wondering. Wait for 30 minutes, wait for 30 minutes, wait for 30 minutes. If my name isn't Asperger's Dubo Strawberry, Burnt Sienna case. Wait for 30 minutes and the rain is up. Three minutes up. Okay. And this is the final product after 30 seconds. If you want to see it better, because cover is that and then actually, you know, helping the view. This is it. Let's take a while to look at it because I gotta pick up something. Right. So this is it. It has a really nice matte color. I think. No, I don't think it's that matte. It has the excess here. But the, um, as you see, the kind of color appears on my finger. Kind of way. Yeah. So. I would advise you to keep this in the fridge because it appears the vitamin E oil kind of tends to melt, comes, not melt, get a bit soft as normal lip gloss and lip balms get to get. So I advise you to keep this in the fridge. And this is a great DIY gift to get to somebody because you'll know they make, they'll know you make it. You may made it on your own and with your full heart. Oof. And if you're making it um, using the icebreakers kit, it'll be even more fun because I bet they'll love the concept. So thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. I'm trying to get my thumbs up. If you can see, hold on. A thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. And a comment. Back. I'm just saying a thumbs up 
a comment plus if you want I will be doing a video as I was saying I will be doing a video on painting a while soon so looking forward for that video on painting and I'll further ado my friends I'm gonna quit this video so bye and keep watching